Hi everybody, happy uh, home brew Wednesday, bit of an update today, I haven't done one for a while. Uh, I got the sack uh, the day after I delivered those parcels, um, I only delivered one as you know, so I got the sack for that. So that job uh, ended rather quickly, uh, I didn't really think it were my scene anyway. Uh, the other thing is, before I carry on, I'd just like to uh, congratulate Big John, Red Dog Brewer, for getting married and his good lady wife. I wish them all the best. Uh, many years of happiness. And uh, I looked at his video this morning that he put online and I was very, very uh, pleased with that wedding cake he did. Pork pie and cheese, my favourite combination. I really think it was stunning that. So well done, John. I just wish I could have had a piece. But anyway, uh, what have I been doing? I haven't spilt any beer lately on the garage floor. I brewed yesterday, I think it's still in the fermenter. It was a black sheep ale, which I'm getting for the, uh, ready for the darker nights, come October, November. And behind me, I've got one that's nearly finished now, a McMullen Country Bitter. Brewed that last year and it was delicious. I think they're, uh, around St Albans way, uh, McMullen Country Bitter. I think it's a brewery down there, McMullen. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, what do I want to do today? I want to quite, uh, try a quick beer. When I was in South Africa, I visited a, a place called, uh, I don't know whether you can see it, Soul Barrel. It was a little brewery just outside of Franjouk. And I bought these glasses off the guy. He was an American guy, I think, um, who ran it. I got a couple of growlers, two litres in each. I haven't filled them yet. So I bought them off him and I tried all his beers. I never put the video online. I've, I've got it on my phone. But they were first class beers. But they were mainly South African ops and uh, wild yeast that he used. He used all local ingredients. And I was very impressed with his uh, beers. And you know, there were South African pale ales basically. And some were quite hoppy and some were very, very strong, some double IPAs. So I, a mate of mine, Mike Pauls, gave me some um, hops to bring back to England in April. Lower African Queen, uh, Southern Star, I think they were bitching hops. And I, I'd got some Southern Passion in, so I thought, let's get them used. Let's make a, my version of a, Southern African Pale Ale, which I made a few weeks ago. I'll not go over the recipe, but briefly, there was pale malt, Munich, Pilsner, some wheat, flaked oats, carapils, acid malt, and some maltodextrin. And uh, I think I used Southern Star hops for bittering. Uh, there was a lot of hops went in, about 200 grams in the Whirlpool at 70 African Queen. And then dry ops were mainly African Queen. I think I used another 150 grams in dry hopping. I only dry hopped it once, I didn't double dry up. So yeah, it, you know, it, it seemed to be okay. It came out at 5.6%, so I thought, let's try one. So uh, let's open it. I know it's carbonated because I've had a few. I'm gonna pour it into this uh, soul barrel glass. Uh, I've got, I know it's carbonated well, because as I say, I've had a few. Oh, a lovely hot smell. I'll pour the rest into this other soul barrel glass. And I'm trying to put all the bottoms in, all the uh, the yeast in, because it should be a bit cloudy, I think. But yeah, there we are. Lovely smell. You, the hops hit you straight away. All South African, apart from, well, there were a few chin up, chucked in. But let's try it. Lovely golden colour. Not over clear, but I didn't actually want it clear. Um, this one, the the bottoms, that, that's a bit murky. Just put a bit in there. So, cheers. Let's have a go. Superb, that. It's got some bitterness and dryness, not too bad. It's got some fruitiness from the hops, as you would expect, with 200 grams nearly in a whirlpool and uh, 150 grams in a dry up. 
lovely aroma. Yeah, there's uh, <clears throat> hints of citron in it and fruits, tropical fruits. So I'm pleased with that one. I had a little bit of advice from a guy called Clint Bream. Sorry, Clint Bream, uh, who I met uh, in South Africa. I think he's from Johannesburg. He sent me a, a recipe, uh, which I adapted from ingredients I'd got of a South African pale. And he's, I think he's nearly a professional brewer. He's a very knowledgeable chap, lovely man. Hope to meet him again next year. So thanks Clint for giving me the ideas. Thanks to Mike for the hops. There's a bit more coming up in this video. Um, so if you just hang on, I'll get back to you in a minute. Anyway, see you in a bit. Where are we going, Grandad? Well, I got the sack on delivering them parcels, as you know. Yeah. But I'm having another attempt at delivering some beer to a, a bloke who's on YouTube. Uh, I think he's called Swinging Steve's Beer Bargain Reviews. And what he does, he goes round local shops, finding out where best bargains are for beer, and he reviews the beer. Um, and he tells you how much it is and where he got it from. So I've been watching him over a year now and I, I've kept promising him uh, to um, to get him some of my beer so he can review it. And it will be a bargain because it's free. Um, so I'm arranging to meet him in this Asda car park up here. Um, this village is called Royston. Uh, I actually got married here at that church. If, I don't know whether we saw it many years ago. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Royston Asda. I'm, it's five to four. I'm supposed to meet him at four, so we'll see if he's here. Um, and let's hope he is. So we'll look, look out for him. Okay. He was a nice bloke, wasn't he, Grandad? Yeah, he was on time, uh, dead on four o'clock, and uh, we had a good chat. Um, and I passed him, I think I gave him 14 bottles of beer. There was some Oakham Stump Porter, some uh, Old Peculiar, five bottles, and a few bits of other things. So I'm hoping he's gonna enjoy them. And uh, he says he might review one or two of them. So uh, yeah. Oh, well, good that. I've got somebody to review my beers. They can tell me then if it, they're any good. So, let's go.